My respects to you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Well done. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Very good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Fine enough. If you're not a complete dead loss, it'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Good. 
Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Ow. No, not like that. You mustn't hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Uh. Nice. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ow! Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Wait a while, Henry. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Not bad. Ow. Not like that. Oh. No! 
Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Well done. Well done. Very good. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Not bad. <sighs> Very good. Mm. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not like that. Yeah. No. Mm. No, that's not it. Yeah. Not bad. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. Keep a distance. Shoot one of the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Please draw the bow, aim, and seat. release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movement. Just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. 
What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guide. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Try shooting at a barn door. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand, ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Well, you got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Not 
Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rathaus. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. <laughs> 